Been seeing a lot of content about microdosing ketamine lately, so I did some digging and here's what I found out. You know how antidepressants come with so many side effects, right? Well, microdose ketamine treatment is different. It works by promoting new connections in the brain so you get relief without the side effects of antidepressants. Okay, so I would not recommend microdosing ketamine and that's because one, there's really no reason to think that would work and two, ketamine's not something you wanna be taking every day. So it's definitely true that ketamine creates new connections in the brain or new synapses and it's also true that there's a lot of promising data showing that ketamine can be helpful for treating depression. But here's the thing, in these clinical trials, they're not using microdoses. They're using more of a macrodose. You see, ketamine is an anesthetic agent. It's used to help put people out during surgeries, so you don't want to go so far with such a high dose that you actually go unconscious. These studies use sub-anesthetic doses, where the person's not anesthetized, they're still conscious and lucid, but they're definitely having a experience. The ketamine is often delivered through an IV, but these microdose companies are using lozenges and in the clinical trials where lozenges were used, we're talking like 300 to 450 milligrams. But this company selling microdoses is at like 20 milligrams, which is basically just not supported by science. I haven't seen any evidence that taking low doses of ketamine consistently can help with depression. All the studies I've ever seen involve larger doses given once or a few times over a short period. And to say that SSRIs have side effects, but ketamine does not is completely misleading. Ketamine can cause dizziness, drowsiness, nausea, fatigue, all sorts of things. And we've all seen Elon Musk. In all seriousness, I say this with a clinical respect for ketamine. The drug has a ton of promise. Microdosing just isn't the proper way to use it, according to the science. Follow for more neuroscience and fact checks.